हेलो स्टूडेंट्स अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक नंबर इज इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ड्यू टू सिस्टम ऑफ चार्जेस ओके नाउ देर आर टू सिस्टम ऑफ द चार्जेस वन इज डिस्क्रिप्ट सिस्टम ऑफ चार्जेस एंड सेकेंड वन इज वन इज अ कंटिन्यूअस सिस्टम ऑफ चार्जेस नाउ वॉट इज अ डिस्क्रिप्ट सिस्टम ऑफ चार्जेस लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस वॉट इज अ डिस्क्रिट सिस्टम ऑफ चार्जेस now discrete system means it's a point charge and we can also count on our fingertips it's a one charge second charge third charge fourth charge fifth charge okay we can count on our fingertips okay now so discrete system is a point charge and we can count on our uh, fingertips let me introduce over the one of the example so these are the point charges okay these are plus q1 plus q2 plus q3 and plus q4 are the point charge and these plus q0 at point p is known as a taste charge or we can also say that it is a a charge of q not okay now the charge q not is experiences a force now the force will be exerted on charge q0 due to positive q1 charge q2 charge q3 charge and q4 charge respectively like that this okay the force will be exerted on charge q0 due to q1 both charge are positive the force is like on opposite direction it's f1 now on a uh, charge of q2 the force experiences like that okay the force experiences like the direction is f2 now due to charge q3 the distance is this the force experiences is f3 due to charge q4 the force is experiences like that it is a f4 okay now so according to the principle of superposition what is the principle of superposition uh, we discussed earlier the principle of superposition is a net force is a net force experienced by the charge is q1 q2 q3 q4 is equal to the uh, algebraic addition of all the forces okay so it's the f the net force f equal to f1 f2 f3 and f4 so equation number 1 is a net force now so from the <clears throat> electric field we discuss the electric field is a force exerted on the taste charge by the taste charge these are the force and the uh, this force and this is a taste charge so these force are exerted due to the, the taste charge q0 so divide the equation number 1 by q0 okay or a q0 on both side so f upon q0 f1 f2 f3 f4 upon q0 okay this equation now okay now the equation will <coughs> now the equation will be e equal this force upon q now this is a force upon q0 it is a net force experienced by the charge q0 and it is known as a electric field it is known as a electric field okay now so this is electric field we can consider like that so the electric field for this is a e equal to e1 plus e2 plus e3 plus e4 this is a electric field of all the charges experienced by the <coughs> taste charge q0 okay now now the second method of the system of charges is continuous charges system Now, what is a continuous charging system? So, to understand the continuous charging system, if we consider a body having a number of charges over there as a distributed uniformly over it, okay? Understand? Now, then, in the continuous system of the charges, a particles of the charges are distribute over a body are uniformly. Okay, over it. So, uh, if you uh, just uh, we have to take an example. This is a region of the body this is a body and this is a point p and this point p is a taste charge q0 now the direction of uh, the electric field depend upon the this condition but <clears throat> now at that point okay from that body okay it just segregate the body into the infinitesimally the small element having the charge of delta q so uh, here this body is divided into the number of charges okay for the small element charges for the small element having the charges of the delta q so we have take here a plus delta q1 plus delta q2 but plus delta q1 of the charges <coughs> of the plus delta q1 due to this positive this taste charge to charges of the plus delta q1 both are positive so the direction of the electric field is on 
that direction you said and said there uh, you also consider the direction of the force and the direction of the field are always same but in the nature of the charges okay now for the second charge is also the positive charges okay due to the positive charge of the delta q2 now this also experiences the force due to the plus q0 and the electric field of that point is also these both are positive so this is in that direction it's a delta e2 okay now <clears throat> so direction of electric field will be the same in the direction of the force again direction of electric field will be the same in the direction of the force okay now the <clears throat> this is a continuous system for the continuous system of the p there are number of charges okay there are number of small element having the charge of delta q but we consider here only two charges so for the electric field for the net electric field at point p for the continuous system of the charge we represent here integration of delta e okay now the electro <coughs> net electric field equal to the total integration of small element electric field of delta e okay now this is the two method of <coughs> electric field due to the system of charges okay i hope you enjoy this session thank you hello students now our next topic is topic number 12 it's a charge density now what is the charge density first of all we have to discuss about the density you know that density is a mass upon volume okay now but the charge density are segregated in three part okay first one is known as a linear charge density second one is known as a surface charge density and the third one is known as a volume charge density but let me relate first linear charge density okay Now, what is the linear charge density? To understand the linear charge density, we have to discuss a one example. Now, we have take a rod. Okay. Now, we have a rod, and in this rod, we have charge uniformly distributed over the rod. Either it is in form of the positive charge or negative charge. Okay. So, the charge is uniformly distributed over the rod, the length of the rod. So, the linear charge density is in the one dimensional. So, the linear charge density is known as a lambda. Lambda is indicating is like that lambda. Okay. The lambda equal to the charge is uniformly distributed over the rod upon the length of the rod. Okay. So, the charge is uniformly <coughs> distributed over the rod is Q. and the length is l so the equation of linear charge density is lambda equal to q upon l but if we have a take an example of circle it's a ring okay now it's a ring so ring <coughs> in the ring the equation of the linear charge density is lambda equal to the charge upon the circumference of the ring and the circumference of the ring the equation of the circumference of the ring is l equal to 2 pi r okay now the radius of this ring is r so the lambda equal to net charge on the ring okay upon length of the ring but the length of the ring is circumference of the ring and the circumference of the ring is 2 pi r okay now second one is known as a surface charge density so what is the surface charge density surface charge density we have a and take a sphere but sphere is a three dimensional figure but we have to consider a charge is the charges are uniform the charges are uniformly distributed over a surface of sphere okay now the charges are sir, uh, uh, uniformly distributed over the surface of the sphere so now our equation of surface density the surface charge density is denoted by the sigma and the sigma equal to total charge on a surface of the sphere upon area of the sphere okay now the equation is sigma the surface charge density is denoted by the sigma equal to q upon 4 pi r square the area of sphere is 4 pi r square but if we consider a sphere it is in two dimension figure okay but it is in two dimension figure so the charges are uniformly distributed 
inside the sphere okay on the sphere surface now the equation of the surface charge density sigma equal to total charge enclosed the surface of the sphere upon area of the sphere but the area of the sphere in two dimension figure is pi r square okay now the third one is known as a <coughs> volume charge density now what is the volume charge density so consider we have uh, we here a sphere and the sphere the volume the sphere is a fill up of the uh, uniformly charge inside the sphere okay so now the volume charge density is denoted by the rho now the rho equal to total charge inside the sphere upon volume of the sphere so the volume charge density is a rho because like total charge is a q upon volume of the sphere is a 4 by 3 pi r cube and this is the equation of volume charge density you can select any one of the example uh, here we have a selector in linear charge density is a rod and a ring but you can take uh, any one of the example and uh, find out the linear charge density okay as well as in surface charge density you have to take any one of example of the surface and uh, any one the example of the volume charge density like sphere like you have to select as a cone like cylinder and you can find out a uh, uh, different different type, types of the charge density related to linear charge density lambda surface charge density sigma and volume charge density rho okay i hope you enjoy this session thank you